Hello, Virgo. Welcome to your April 2021 love reading. This will be for Virgo sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Or if you have a lot of Virgo or a lot of Earth in your chart, this may resonate. Cross watchers, this might resonate more for you than for the Virgo. And as general, guys, won't resonate for everybody. Please do check out your other placements if this doesn't resonate. And it's um, general, obviously. And only take the messages that are meant for you. Um, this is Crystal Tarot 1111. My name is Erica and we're going to get started. And I'm doing something different this month. I am doing extendeds for these love readings for the zodiac signs. The link to get information on that is down below in the description box should you feel called. And also do check out the monthly Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine readings for additional messages to accompany these zodiac readings. So let's get started for Virgo here. What is going on for Virgo in April 2021? So we have nothing will come of this situation, followed by the new moon in Taurus. Prosperity lies ahead, followed by a new start, followed by emotions are running high. Okay. So we're going to get some more tarot here and fill in what's going on, but there could be a situation where there has been an ending. Um, although I will say, because this card can be two different opposite meanings. Okay. So that's why I'm going to pull some more tarot and see, this could be a situation where either something has ended completely and you're ready to move forward with a new start and you're really excited because there's a really solid opportunity coming. But I also feel the other scenario coming through for you, Virgo, is that you might think nothing's going to come of this situation, like that you're maybe you're never going to have love. Maybe it's never going to come in. And then all of a sudden, boom, it shows up and things are really, you're really excited. There's just this energy of, of a lot of excitement out of almost like dullness here. So let's get some tarot and add to this story here. Why do we have this void of course moon card? We have the five of swords. Yeah, I think you were feeling kind of defeated, Virgo, where you're sort of like, oh, I guess that's, guess that's over with, or I guess that's, I guess I'm just going to give up on that, whatever that is. Why do we have the new moon in Taurus here? The eight of cups. Yeah, some of you are definitely walking away from something in order to begin something new. And you're making a decision here. Do I continue something? Do I continue on a path, this new beginning? And why is the super moon energy, the queen of pentacles here? Well, you could be bringing in a very, very solid new beginning. Um, certainly, certainly there could be somebody here who may have walked away from you originally, and now they're back wanting to see if you want to move this forward. And I feel like there's a possibility here where there's potential for success. So let's actually get some more tarot and add to the story. Why? What is going on for Virgo here? So you've got the Knight of Swords and the Six of Cups. They've got the Two of Cups and the High Priest. There's the High Priestess, the Eight of Pentacles, the Ten of, Ten of Swords and the Eight of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, the World, and the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, let me get the energies between you before I say anything here. It's the energy between you guys. So we have the Three of Swords, the Four of Cups, and the Ten of Wands. I feel like there's a decision to be made here. I, I feel like there's a situation here where I feel like you've been trying and um, 
I do feel like what I'm sensing in these energies, and I'm going to get more cards, but what I'm feeling is there's a relationship here that I feel like is coming to an end. And it doesn't mean necessarily fully coming to an end. It could mean coming to an end of a major cycle that has been difficult. And I'm reading you on this side, Virgo, and then this side is your person, but certainly it could be the other way around. I feel like something may have come to an end, but then there's this sadness around the ending. This like, oh, I don't know if I really wanted that to end. So let's actually get more here. Why do we have the three of swords here with the three of cups? Why is the four of cups here? The king of cups. I have the Ten of Wands here, Seven of Swords, Ace of Swords. Somebody could have, um, there could have been some sort of outside influence in this situation that affected the dynamic, but it looks like there's there's a lot of emotion here. Why is the Six of Cups here for you? Eight of Swords. And why do they have the Two of Cups? The Six of Swords. This is a very interesting reading, Virgo. I have to say, I'm kind of trying to sense what's going on here. You're going to have to let me know um, what this is because I'm going to keep getting more cards. We'll get some more clarity. But why do they have the High Priest here? The Temperance card. Virgo, you might have said, you know what, I, I feel kind of stuck here. And you kind of wanted to just get out. Why do you have the Knight of Swords? Page of Wands. I feel like you wanted something new and exciting and different. And this person was um, kind of patient with you. They wanted things to get better. I feel like maybe you were, there was some pain and some sadness between you, but then now that things have kind of come to an end, it's like, I'm not happy with this ending as well. Why do you have the high priestess, the 10 of pentacles? Why do you have the eight of pentacles, the devil card? You could be throwing yourself into work. Why do they have the Ten of Swords? The Ten of Cups. Look at all these tens. We have all the tens on the table. So, Virgo, I feel like your person has this love for you, and you might be the one that's kind of going back and forth with I don't know what I want to do, I'm trying to figure it out. Do I want to start something new? Do I want to stay where I'm at? Why do they have the Eight of Wands, the Six of Pentacles? Your person over here is very like, it's almost like they're understanding more about what you're going through than you are, is what I'm feeling. Why do you have the Five of Pentacles? The Two of Wands. Why 
Why do you have the Nine of Wands? The Strength card. Gosh, why do they have the World? The Ace of Pentacles. Why do they have the Seven of Pentacles? Harvest, the Judgment card. Virgo. What's going on? Seriously. Let me add to this here. Because we're going to... Let's see your energy. Don't let your past hold you back. Bring love into the situation. And your commitment is being tested. Yeah, you're kind of... You know, I'm hoping this is a reverse for you, <laughs> Virgo, you know, in terms of cross watcher. Um, but it feels like you may want to put the effort in here because you're not happy without this person. And I feel like there may have been something where originally you were like, you know what, I'm out of here. It, 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 almost like you made a really hasty decision. And now you're like, oh. I wish I hadn't done that. Let me get the energies of your other of your person. Okay, a personal issue reaches resolution. Have faith in your dreams. Communication is key. Wow. All right. Yeah. I feel like you're regretting what you what the fact that things kind of ended here, and I think this person is being very even though this may have been really disruptive to them, I think that they never, they don't, they haven't given up on you, Virgo. But I think that what's happening for you is you want to open up to this, but now there's um, some challenges for you. You're having to be brave. You're having to be courageous. You're uncertain if this person, you know, you're uncertain of the changes. You're not sure of your choice. Did you make the right choice? But I think that what happens here is there is communication that comes in here in April that clears through any illusions and the new romantic cycle begins. I feel like this person's not going to give up on you and this relationship, whatever's gone on, I really feel like. out of your comfort zone yeah I think you guys come together here and let go of the fears let go of the negativity things have been building to this point yeah I do feel like something happened that was building and building and building and then kind of blew up and now it's like can we fix this and I feel like whatever happened needed to happen. I can't remember who got a similar reading to this. Um, but you'll see it in the title. That's going to feel the same. So Virgo, let's get the guidance for you. For those of you not heading over to the extended, I'm going to leave you with some guidance. And um, in the extended, I'm going to go more into your person, what they're thinking and feeling, what lessons they're learning, what do they want, and what your guidance is, Virgo. So, but your guidance, more of your guidance. For those of you not going to the extended, we have show the world the real you and the end of a tough cycle approaches. The full moon in Aquarius and Capricorn. I feel like what's happening here is you are, um, you're needing to open up to reveal more of who you really are. You may have been holding back and feeling stuck, but the difficulty is ending. It's coming to an end, but it's going to require you to be authentic with who you are, Virgo. All right, Virgo, I hope that was helpful. Do, do check out the other videos and until next time, I send you love. Bye.